Hello, 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 and welcome to the cup, the curly and thing podcast, where we put the real energy in reality, and we can always come to us first to quench your thirst. And yes, we are part of the cup network, so boom. I am your girl, Lana, your resident evil diva, and I'm here to give the tea, spill the tea, and drink the tea, because you know I love me some tea per. And if you have some tea, you know what to do, hit me up. I'm currently just drinking on the last of my strawberry sun kiss, because... Why not? It's delicious. I wish it was sponsored, but, you know, Sunkiss, hit me up. But, you know, we can't always have what we want. But you know what you can have and want, and you want to get it? Your cup mug. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Get your cup mug at lanajeescreations.etsy.com. That link will be in the description below. And we do ship domestically here in the United States, Canada, and Mexico. And we do ship internationally. So there are no excuses and philippines i'm looking at you i'm looking at you get, get, get your cut merch <laughs> well i'm david healy and i don't have a cute intro but i do have a cute shirt um i'm wearing this shirt because i didn't get to um join for our canada versus the world coverage when he was still on so i'm wearing my la phil shirt Ooh. Mm. This should have a C right here. La fill me cup. <laughs> <Not her>. cup. <laughs> um, yes. And I am just drinking some water. I've got some remnants left from the same water I was drinking uh, during our global all-stars coverage. Uh, this- which, <laughs> that should have been gone because we sure we sure yeah. talked forever. We talked a lot on that one. But, Please go know. check it out because I was like, oh, we're gonna we're gonna get all the Philippines fans watching. Let's talk about global all stars and and seeing what we have to say about Eva. But you know what? We don't have nearly as many views on that video as we do on the Philippines videos. So go check it out. And we only had good things to say about Eva. So, uh, and hi, I am River, your Brazilian correspondent here on the Cup. And I don't have a well. Actually, I do have a cute shirt as well. I'm wearing my uh, Tune Squad Space Jam. Mm-hmm shirt because right. it's one of my favorite movies uh and then i kind of wanted to match colors so i chose this cute mug or this audrey hepburn mug so yeah it kind of matches so or well, that just been drinking great- water because it's really late so that would have been a good one well i guess that's not 60s is it when is that from i mean pop art 60s mm. 70s yeah it's it could have exactly. worked for Canada versus. It could have worked. It could have worked. Kind of, yeah. But anyway. Yeah, hey, hey, y'all. We are here talking about Philippines. Drag Race Philippines episode three. Season three. We love that. And um, we're going to get right into it. But first, before we do that, y'all know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss any time we drop a video. Because we are putting out content after content after content. After content on all four of our channels, they also you want to check that out. Hit the notification bell, hit the subscription bell, go to our uh, hit subscription, subscribe button. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> hit the subscribe button and then go down to our descriptions below where our love our YouTube links will be there in our link tree. And also our audio podcast links will be there as well. So you can listen to us on the go. And we see you, Spotify listeners, and all of our podcast listeners. Audio, y'all are checking for. Philippines and Canada versus the world. I see the numbers, so I see y'all doing it. So we appreciate y'all listening to us on the go or at work or at home or whatever you're doing. We appreciate you. Continue to do that. Get your friends to listen. We we love that. We love to build up our, our podcast, our audio listeners as well, and our Patreon as well. So if you want to get some exclusive content across all four of our channels and early access across all four of our channels, you should join our Patreon. We have things going in there all the time. Or our look over here for each drag race season that we're covering is always up early. So if you join our Patreon, you'll get that a, a, probably a day earlier than everybody else. So I don't know. It's earlier. It's earlier. I won't know how long. I don't run that part. But I just know it's earlier than everybody else. And if you want to get all that stuff earlier than everybody else, join our Patreon. It's only $5. Check it out. We got some great stuff in there, and we're going to continue to put more great stuff in there as well. So check that out. 
Yeah, let's get right into episode three. We come back and go ahead, David. I do. I do. Before we get too far into it, I do need to issue an apology to one of the queens from this season. Um, So, yes, last week um, I was pretty hard on a queen, their design look, and that was John Fedelaga. I can say it. Fedeliaga. 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 And I want to apologize for not pronouncing your name right because I had it right in my head and then it didn't come out right. But no, I was I was very harsh on that design challenge look. Did I mean what I said? Yes. But I did read the comments and I did see that John commented on one of our videos and John said, that she would like to kiss me. So now I feel bad <laughs> for being a little harsh. <laughs> Lana, Lana, uh. <laughs> let me have my moment of apologizing. So John, I'm so sorry. And uh, I hope I hope you still want to kiss me. <laughs> is, is this going to be a weekly thing, David? Are you going to be Maybe. apologizing Maybe. every week to somebody else? We'll see, they... we'll see what happens next week. <laughs> next week, he's not going to have a cute shirt. He's going to have a gray hoodie. Oh. Seriously, like we're getting to that point. If you know, you know. If you've been on on YouTube, you know. <laughs> Just apologizing week after week to somebody else, but I don't know, John. We do see you in the comments. We appreciate mm-hmm. you commenting, and everybody who comments on all of our videos, we appreciate all of you. And yes, David, like I said, what happened happens. I am always right. The moment you started. Getting emotional over <gasps> Evil the Queen. I said, y'all, here we go. That's what the comments are going to be about. Nobody's going to get no love. It's all going <laughs> to be David. True. We just need to take it. And guess what happened? Oh, my God, David. We love you so much. You're so sweet. Marina Summers was talking about you. And Evil the Queen started following you. I was like, look at here. <laughs> look at here. Let's just... just I'm going to start crying. Maybe I should start. No, I'm You not should, but you. only when you mean it, because I really I meant say, it in the moment. I know you meant it. I know you meant it. I'm, <laughs> and I'm not going to cry. I'm a G. Yeah. No, I'm and I was worried cry. people would be like, oh, he's acting. He's no. Like <laughs> Everybody who watched that knew you were acting. Okay. You were not acting. <laughs> Good. Everybody yeah. who watched it. But, I didn't expect it to go kind of viral on Twitter and get like right. 1,300 likes. So mm-hmm. that's cool. Mm-hmm. We, I, we knew what we knew. Anyway, but... Yeah, y'all, we appreciate y'all in the comments of all of our videos and watching. We appreciate you so much. But in the get set back into the workroom. And nobody's gone still. It's still top eleven. Yay. Yay. What do you think, River? And also, who do you think won that lip sync? Because uh we were a little split last week. <laughs> For the girls, I love this. So I I do love that we get to see more of them is my, is my thing. But because nobody went home episode one, I think someone could have gone home because I feel like we could have used a double safe later in the competition. And I would have loved to see Angel back uh, season four. Me too. For sure. A hundred percent. Without Maxi. And I honestly think that's why they didn't send her home. No shade. Like, because they don't want to lose that storyline yet. But not that I don't like Angel, because I do. She's one of my favorites in, like, personality and as just entertainment. Um but I think she would be able to shine more if she was back for next season. But I'm so excited that she's there because she clearly has more to show, as we will talk about. So does that mean you did think Angel lost the lip sync? Honestly, it was kind of a a tie for me. Like, it could have gone either way, is my point. Mm-hmm. But... um. I think I would I would like to see more of Tita. Like I think she's more ready in this moment, and I honestly think that Angel would be better coming back next season. But that doesn't mean that I don't like her. I'm not excited to see her because I am, and I'm excited that she's still here. But 
Mm. Um, yeah. Yeah. But nobody's gone. Everybody's just cheering and I'm like, woo woo. Me personally, somebody could have went home last week. I made it very clear that somebody should have went home last week because we already had uh, somebody not go home the first week. So I'm like, why two weeks in a row do we have, have anybody go home? Let's spread out our non eliminations a little bit. Let's mm-hmm. let's just have it throughout. Like one more throughout the season would have been like later on when it was mm-hmm. really necessary. Like two people yeah, like gave the lip syncs for their life. Like the lip syncs was super amazing. And we like, ooh. Well, I I do. One thing I want to give Philippines credit for that no other franchise will do, none of them, period, is they're not afraid to throw off their schedule. If they find out that there's a lip sync that's worth a double save, even if it's past the point of doing that, they will do it. They did it with Bernie and Cat Cat last season. And then they did a double elimination. Um it was the next episode, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So if they have to do that, I'm sure they will. So who knows? I wouldn't count it out. I wouldn't either. That's fine. But they're celebrating. Everybody's happy. Um, they give Mix her props because she won the whole thing. Yay for Mix. Um, but Yudi does say that she should have won. Absolutely. And honestly, so. she's right. I agree. Mm-hmm. I'm with her. Mm-hmm. It was her for Kiana for me, but I'm not completely yeah. mad about who won, but like I just don't agree. But anyway. I, mean, I get it. I get it. And and mix not mix. Uh Yuri was like, I didn't just glue something to a corset. I made an entire look out of something that is not fabric, that is not, you know. And I I get it. I get it. I thought her look was amazing. I thought her mm-hmm. both her looks were good. Um, I just love the fact that they just be like, "No, I should have won. <laughs> it should have been me." But whatever. Last last thing I want to say about that is because what I told you guys before, if they look uh, Yudi's look. It looked that they could have been on the same collection. Mm-hmm. So that's why yeah. I think she could have won. But. But I feel like that you could definitely say that about mixes. Looks. I do too. Like they they very much felt like the same collection. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like the the reason why mix one is the same reason, and I liked mm. Yudi's better is the thing. So Fair they had the same the same like concept with uh, um, having a cohesive uh, a cohesion between the two looks. But mm-hmm. I preferred Yudi's concept, mm-hmm. so that's why. Right. So and that's why I'm not mad. So, right. <laughs> yeah. So everybody's talking. They're you know giving their congratulations. They're talking to Tita and Angel. Like, how do you feel about all of this? You survived. They're both very happy that they survived and that they were able to make it through to another week. Um, they get out of drag. We move because literally they just talked about how happy they are, and everybody's happy for everybody because everybody's still there. They go to the next way. They come in the workroom. Mix is happy. Got the, the root badge on her hat. Mm-hmm. Everybody's congratulating her. They're still talking about yes, the, the as they say last week. Even though I still think it's yesterday, <laughs> but <laughs> um, but last week's and everything. And it's the new week in the workroom. We're starting off fresh. We're gonna get it done. And everybody's happy, or so they say. Because I felt like they talked a lot, like before the the the, the cyber took a little longer to come on. Before, like we had a lot of conversation going <laughs> on back and forth between them, everybody during this time. I was like, um, Rue, could we get this cyber going, please, so we can get, find out what this next challenge is? But they were just talk, talk. Talk, talking away was uh, was it just me or did I because like I was tired when I was watching this one I was like maybe I just felt like it just felt longer than usual you know I didn't notice it but I I I do wonder it makes me wonder like how long they let them talk before that yeah. goes on because I wouldn't be surprised if like all franchises let them go for a good 20 minutes to to make sure that they have 
something worth showing. Mm-hmm. And maybe Philippines is like, well, we're just going to show it. <laughs> right. They just showed it. It was just a lot of talking, but they come on and Rue comes out, do the has hers it already, whatever. And they get the little clue. And you could tell from the clue what was about to happen. And then uh, Mama Powell comes out and she goes on her spiel about the maxi challenge. And she tells them they about to pop off. And you go, boosh. And I was there. I was like, oh, my gosh, we know. Of course, you know what it is. It's the girl group challenge. Nobody does it better than Philippines to me. I think Philippines does the girl group challenge the best. I like how they do it. But I like how other franchises do it. I just seem to like Philippines a little bit more. Um, But the girl group challenge happened. And, oh, no, not yet. I skipped over the mini challenge. Oops, sure did. Because a mini challenge had to happen. I know that's what David was trying to put in. The I know. I was chat. just typing it like furiously. Like, mini challenge. <laughs> I, 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 I remember. I remember. Mini challenge. I just wanted to see if we remembered. She was just <laughs> I, 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 testing sometimes us. I, sometimes I have to circle back. My brain moves so mm-hmm. fast. I need to circle back a little bit. But yeah, mini challenge happens. I didn't even see what you typed in the private chat before you typed. When you typed, I was like, I know what it is before you <laughs> see it. Okay. Um, but the mini channels happens and they're doing a sack race. I'm like, okay, potato sack With race. With breastplates. <laughs> With breastplates. You have to have breastplates. Emphasis on that. <laughs> emphasis because it's not, it's more funnier if you got breastplates on. It's not funny if you don't have breastplates because, duh. What's the fun of it is harder. <laughs> Because it throws off your balance, it's heavy, Absolutely. so it's harder. It it, it makes it more of a challenge. Welcome to the world of women, period. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um so they have to go do quick drag real quick, put on their breastplates, get on their makeup, and then they had split them up in teams, they pull numbers and they got to go in heats. And the winner of each heat will race each other at the end. They go. It was funny. Some people mm-hmm. put on breastplates. Most people put on breastplates. One did not put on a breastplate. Mm-hmm. One their heat because you didn't have on a breastplate. And they were like, uh, absolutely not. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> the whole purpose is to put on the breastplate for sex. You didn't put on the breastplate. So she didn't win. And it's um, kind of cheating because, like I said, if you have the breastplate, it's harder. So absolutely. She had an advantage. So it's, you know, it makes sense. It Plus, they were putting the breastplates on, like in the challenge, right? Or did they already have them? On? Oh, they already had them. No, on. Okay. they already have. Okay, yeah, they already yeah. have but them. it would some would some would come off, so they would have to kind of like fix it. But... Mm, that makes sense. Yeah. But and just one thing, because I wanted to mention that stood out to me, because Yudi, I just I love her since the beginning, but I'm starting to relate to her more and more, because her one liners just stand out to me, and it's so funny for no reason. Because she, when they were given the mini challenge, she said, "I don't want to sweat in the morning," and that is so relatable <laughs> to me because I hate sweating, especially in the morning. So, like, I just love her. She's so mm-hmm. funny without trying to be. Yeah, I but, agree. I already kind of want to see Yudi on a versus the world at some point, assuming she doesn't win. Uh, who knows? But like, I just mm-hmm. feel like she would mix well. With mm-hmm. like Rue or Brooklyn, uh, just because she, I feel like she has a a specific um, aesthetic and sense of humor that would be appreciated by both of them. So I don't know. Maybe in the future we'll see her on a. She ends story. up standing out in the middle of like large personalities because she's more to herself, but like she stands out because of that. So it's mm-hmm. uh, it, it would be interesting, right? So the mini challenge happens, and we do have a winner, and it is Kiana. She wins the mini challenge. Woo-hoo. And we get another Matilda reference. Another I think Matilda this reference. This is the second time <laughs> that they've been like, Matilda. Um, I mean, maybe she's going to be the Matilda of mini challenges because she's one too. She's one too. So they don't even have to change the banners each week for her because she's <laughs> always there. Um, but she and for her win, she gets to pick her team 
for the maxi challenge, which is the girl group, of course. So she gets to pick exactly either five or six people who she wants to be on her team. That's and big. I was like, that's a lot of power right there. Like mm-hmm. you literally like I'm picking mine and the rest of y'all are leftovers. Like it's wild. She chose to pick six people, which I was like, okay, work. I wouldn't. I would have picked five. <laughs> I would have yeah. picked five. Honestly, I'm 100%. I would've even thought five. like six, five or six is too much. It should have been at a point where it would be uh, two groups of uh, like four or five. I mean, if we would have had six two groups too- of five, if we would have just sent somebody home last week, but Don't we do didn't. That to yeah, Tita. six is too much. Angel yeah, would have been gone much. last Tita week. We would have had gone, five and five. Seen. It would have been. I mean, it is what it is, you know. Whatever. But six is too much. It was too anyway. many. But she picks. And choosing six. to have six is it's just that's just crazy to me. But can I just say one thing? I yeah, honestly I mean, think <laughs> I'm gonna say it anyways. I don't. Have I'm about to say, could I stop? Just you want to? <laughs> no, absolutely not. Absolutely <laughs> not. Say. And you know it. <laughs> um, but I think she chose for sex as strategy. Like a sacrificial lamb. Mm-hmm. Yes, I, like I may be wrong, but that's just a feeling that I have. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's I all. feel like it could go two ways. She could have picked her for um, strategy and, and that sacrificial lamb, or she could have picked her because she's her friend and she wanted to try to hide her in the midst of some. Maybe they can teach her to, you know, mm-hmm. hide They're her friends in the now, midst of some, right? Huh. <laughs> They're friends now. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I was I gonna know. say that's a little quick. Yeah, but I mean, they did apologize and everything. They mean friendly. They're friendly, but I, mean, I, I wouldn't. I don't know if they're friends. I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, I don't know. But I mean, Kiana I, said that they're friends. So yeah. right. I think. I think what so, I would have done. So I, I expect her to pick uh, mix Chanel instead of Versex, but I think what I would have done is maybe picked but i don't know see this is like are they gonna give a team a win or are they gonna give an individual individual right if they're giving a team a win and if i'm thinking that then i probably would have picked the same people except pick mix leave out verse x and then put maxi on the other team with the rejects you know so that the like one talented person is just dragged down by who you think won't do very well in the challenge. Um, so that would be my, my strategy if I'm going for a team win. Um, mm-hmm. Otherwise. Yeah. I would want Maxi on my team just, uh, and maybe diluted enough so she doesn't stand out um, and then just hope for the best. Right. But Y'all know the teams. Name the teams because I really don't remember the, mm-hmm. the, the teams. Yep. So I can tell you. Um, so Kiana first picked Popstar Bench, and right. then she picked Maxi, and then Angel, then Versex, and then Zimbading. So that left on the other team. Um, no, she chose just she chose Versex last. Just. All right. Doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure. Well, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But I bet you're wrong because <laughs> I wrote tell them me, down. Tell, in order. Me in the tell us in the comments. Tell us in the comments. Who's right? I don't know, but yeah. that's just I what think I think. David's right because I I wrote them in correctly. order, like as I heard them. So that's. I, about that's say, I think David's right because if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, I think I okay. think what you're thinking is that maybe you thought she was last because we all expected her to pick a team of five, mm-hmm. and so that was the fifth person. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> but that leaves on the other team: uh, Yudipota, uh, mm-hmm. Jay Quinn, John Feliaga. Mm-hmm. I can say it. Um, mm-hmm. Mix Chanel, mm-hmm. and then last but not least, nobody could forget the one. The only who am I forgetting, guys? Who am I forgetting? <laughs> oh, Tito Baby. <laughs> Sorry, Tito Baby. <laughs> I know you are not playing. You playing right now? No, I really, I, I you're really. Lucky, I you're lucky. I literally just said Tito Baby as oh, you were talking. You 
Oh my god. Oh. You you played an art. I I was too busy trying to remember who the fifth one was as I was saying it and not listening. So not sorry. That. Not you playing an RT the baby's face. Not the baby. I'm sorry, RT the baby. You my T the baby. That's right? gonna be your that's gonna be your apology for next week. <laughs> <laughs> Save it for next week. You already apologized once. <laughs> <laughs> but no. So they um the song is don't f it up and and you know Ooh. that's what it is and um the pop the pop peacock oh my god don't try it i'm not the pop peacock i refuse to butcher their language uh, <laughs> i refuse i'm trying um, you know. <laughs> but um yeah so they get the music they go off it, they have to write their lyrics come up with their own choreography, all of that. And so they get to writing, and people are feeling pretty good about what they're writing, what they're thinking, what they, you know, the the group dynamics. Everybody's pretty okay with what's happening. Uh, Maxie was doing what Maxie does. Maxie is a songwriter and singer, so Maxie was writing the heck out of some songs, some lyrics, and she was like, this is what we're doing. And everybody was think they were comfortable most people were comfortable i think I was they were looking, ready right i was I looking for, ready. i was looking for the people because usually we'll have you know each time we have to do a challenge like this somebody's like oh, i don't know oh i'm drawing a blank oh i don't know what to write oh my god i don't know we didn't have that mm-hmm. they were everybody just seemed like okay this is what we're gonna do this is my brand. I, I I do agree with you, River. I think everybody was just ready. This season, they were like, we've been seeing two seasons of this. We know what's coming. I know my brand. I know what I want to do. So I think they were pretty much ready to go. And I was like, okay, work. I wasn't mad at that. But they they like it wasn't a whole lot of drama with the writing part of it all. No, like the only thing that's that stood out to me up to this point, and this even goes back to early in the episode, but I felt like we were getting a different John than we had seen mm. in the in the two previous episodes. Mm-hmm. There seemed to be a lot more animation in the confessional, and she was even talking like with confidence, and you could tell that she was excited for this challenge and to prove what she was capable of. And to be honest, like, this is not a challenge. Like, just knowing that her platform is just a big YouTuber, like, doing Mm -hmm. YouTube makeup tutorials. So I was not expecting her to excel in a performance-based challenge like this. So I was like, okay, is this going to be her feeling confident but then flopping? Or is it going to be her feeling confident and proving everyone why she's so confident? So I guess we'll see. Yes, we'll see. <laughs> if you don't know by now, why are you watching us? <laughs> you should go watch the show. But yeah, I, I I saw that and I agree with you. I think she just and I feel like a lot of the weight has been lifted from her since she was able to tell her story last week and and have that moment was was like, okay, this is what happened to me. She got that grief that that off of her chest. And we all know sometimes we just have to let it out. And that's why people go to therapy. That's why people talk to their friends because the weight of what happened to them just it was sitting on her. And she was able to finally express that and tell that story. And I feel like she just felt lighter this week. It just felt lighter. She was just like, mm-hmm. who is out there? People know. I've talked about it. And now I don't have to carry this around with me no more. I don't have to carry this burden with me. And I am so happy for her and mm-hmm. so proud for her to be able to just let it out. And 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 we will see more of that. But it's just she just felt lighter. And I agree with you, David. I feel like she knew what she could do, and she was ready to show the world what she could do because not people don't know her for that. They know her, like you said, for the YouTubes and mm-hmm. the makeup tutorials. So she was never that performer queen. And so nobody knows like, oh, she works at this bar. Oh, she works. No, they don't know her. So she was like, 
Yeah, buddy. Let's let's let, let's do this so I can. Ooh, it's my time. It's my time. And I love that. I love people who got that that ace in the hole, and they be like, "Boy, when they get to this, I'm gonna pull this out, and they ain't gonna know what hit them." And it just felt that way. I love that for her. Love that for her. Um, but yeah, it was just a lot of we we saw them writing. We saw. Uh, the choreography sessions happen, and of course, I, I always love <laughs> the first choreography session that we have, where everybody's like, oh, oh, "Okay, we doing, we we doing, oh, oh okay, and okay, we sort of get it." Okay, I love seeing that first rehearsal because it's like it 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 wants to make me believe that, uh oh, this gonna be this ain't gonna be that good, this gonna be bad, it's but. Then we know they got like two more days or whatever to go, <laughs> to go back and work on that and get the choreography down tight, and it comes out and the performances be amazing. But I, it, it, I didn't even think it was drama in the choreography sessions. I was waiting for drama in the choreography, and we didn't get that either. I didn't notice yeah. it. <laughs> There's clearly drama, but I didn't notice it. <laughs> I didn't notice it. It was drama. But the drama, they even mentioned the drama happened after they, because they, they feel, they do the rehearsal part. They do one, uh, like a few, I don't know how long, but they do an amount of time of filming that. And then they actually go and rehearse off camera. Yeah. And then the drama happened when they went off to rehearse off camera. That's what I'm about to say, because it couldn't have happened on camera. So we missed it. On camera. It happened, happened, we just missed it. Yeah, we didn't see it. We didn't get to see it. I was like, what are y'all talking about? Like, when they came back and was talking about, I was like, what? Did I I fall asleep? Because I'm known to fall asleep. Well, Mm -hmm. I had been, like, looking down and taking notes and stuff, and then Mm -hmm. I'm like, did I just miss something while I was taking notes? I was so confused. And I still was confused after hearing them argue. But, man, it got kind of tense. It got heated. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I was like, whoa, whoa, what, what, because I yeah. felt robbed because I'm like, what did we miss? Mm-hmm. Because I didn't see anything. And I went back to like, look at the, the choreography part again to make sure I didn't miss it. Cause I'm like, what happened? And why are we arguing about it right now? And I don't know what's they happening. Said it. So you, maybe you missed the part where somebody, I don't remember who said that all of that before they even started kind of arguing somebody mentioned that that something happened when they were off camera so maybe oh, y'all missed, missed that, that part i missed that part but, i missed it because i yeah. was going back making it's not sad it. it was like why yeah but but i'm sad like we deserved to like we if we were able to see that that fight argument would have been so juicy to watch and it instead it was just confusing so. Yeah, it's like, why not just film it? Like, okay, film it without the plans to air it, but just in case. Someone, someone's phone, <laughs> like something. Put up a phone and like start filming when it, when you see that something's happening. Like, we don't care. I don't I know. Mean, or if they not go talk about, if they not go show that, don't show the argument. Like, cut well, the argument out. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. we don't know what they're arguing about. And so as a viewer, it's just confusing. But I'm sure for them, they like, no, this is very valid, very, you know, we know exactly what's happening. This is something that, and I think they want to show fights and drama. Because there I'm wasn't like, any untucked. So. There was, and there was, exactly, it wasn't an untucked. It wasn't any that we saw as a viewer. So I'm like, they should have just cut that part out and just went into the, the after the trauma music. Because <laughs> it's like, it just Oh, I know what they should have done. They should have, instead of showing that fight, they should have shown us more of them talking around that table before the she done already had hers. It's came okay. out. <laughs> that more conversation. Yeah, we should have seen more of that, right, Lana? <laughs> that segment could have been longer. For sure. <laughs> that segment could have been absolutely shorter. But, you know, <laughs> sure. Um, they should have just cut it out and just had Mama Powell and them talking longer at the judging table. Like, so I don't know. Yeah. It was just I didn't know what that fight was about. And so that yeah. argument meant nothing to me, honestly. I was like, 
Yeah, they became the Sharks and the Jets real quick. <laughs> like, <Where would? laughs> who knew that they would be so like unified with their teams that got picked? But uh, the the thing that stood out to me probably the most was so I just heard Angel talking to Jay Quinn, and I didn't realize that she cut off Jay Quinn. But then Jay Quinn just really reacted over the top, and then it cuts to confessional of Jay Quinn crying, saying Angel's always cutting me off. And then Maxie becomes like the defensive older brother, like you're getting really steamed right now. And I'm like, oh, this this was kind of this is kind of juicy, Lana. I'm glad they kept it in. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but I, I'm mad I, we didn't get to see the whole thing because, like, no. there's there's confused. one thing that we say that is like you don't tell a I gossiper don't half a gossip, right? Like, don't you don't do that. You don't no. give me half the no. story and then tell me to just be okay with it. I want to know what happened before, what happened in the middle of that, and so I can figure out who was right and who was wrong. I can't tell you who was right and who was wrong in this situation because I don't know what the beginnings were. So it's like mm -hmm. I wanted, even though I did, I mean, I'm going to be honest, from, I can, from what we've seen, I believe. Angel be cutting folks off because she did it several times in this episode alone, even in the untucked. I was like, girl, you just go, you just jump in talking, huh? You just start talking. Somebody be in the middle of the conversation. She's like, it's so and so and so. I'm like, she do not, she was talking. Like, she she just likes to hear her own voice. I think she's very talkative. And that's not a whole bad yeah, thing. Don't but, cry about it though. I'm so but, yeah. I mean, I mean, here's the thing though. Yeah. And 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 if Logan was here, Logan would be like. I understand why people get mad because it happens to me all the time. People cut me off and I feel like I'm not heard when, when I'm talking because people cut me off all the time and it gets me upset. So, Which is fair. Which is And you said it yourself. You said the same thing to me, David. When I'm talking and people cut me off all the time, it, it gets very annoying and frustrating. <laughs> so you Let's should judge be the biggest... No, it, it can be frustrating, but also judge people by their intentions. And clearly, Angel is not like meaning anything malicious. That's just her personality. She just talk a lot. So I would, and I mean, this is easier said than done, but yeah, I'd probably just talk to Angel one on one and explain, hey, you do, you have this habit of doing this thing. You might want to check it a little bit. It, it can be a little annoying. And I know yeah. you don't mean anything by it, but it's just something to think about. Because sometimes we don't know that That's we have true. these little things about us uh, that, that might bother true. other people until somebody tells you. But it's how they tell you oh, is yes. how you're going to be receptive to it. Because that if is somebody lashes out at you, okay, done. I'm not listening to you, Jay Quinn. Not after you just lashed out like that. No. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you catch more flies with honey than you do with vinegar, right? Isn't that what the saying is? That is the saying. You said it correctly. And yes, I, I I do believe that's how you would handle it. You're like, hey, by the way, you do kind of talk over people. Yeah. Uh, but that's about. Speaking yeah. of River, <laughs> we need to talk about something. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm gonna say, I was going to say I was going to say I was going to say something, but I decided to just. <laughs> because I am Angel, so I get it. I, and I love Angel and I love you. <laughs> and here's the thing I am aware and I do work on it and I try my best, but sometimes it is what it is. You know what I mean? I'm still, I'm still working on it. I'm getting there. I'm working on it. I used to be worse. Work in so. progress, River. We, we appreciate that and we get it. It's okay. But and I appreciate y'all. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. And so there we have nothing else. I said we just get right to it. Well, we. Um, well, I'll stop oh, at the end. An Emmy moment. Not you cutting David off. <laughs> I surely <laughs> did because I thought we were done, but David has well, something. I didn't else know if we wanted to talk about the Emmy moment um, of the oh. episode with oh, Kiana. Was, oh yeah, I talking about her that. family. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she talked about her parents separating and how she uh, used to live with them, but hasn't lived with them since the separation. And she's not; um, she has a bunch of siblings too, and they're not all in communication either. Um, I didn't know if y'all had thoughts on that. No, not me. I mean, not. 
I don't have I didn't I don't have many thoughts. I just I love getting to know the girls more and like I already loved mm -hmm. Kiana for many reasons because I related to her in other ways. Uh I don't have siblings, so I would I don't know. Um and I do like my parents did separate when I was 10, but they weren't they were they separated because they were friends, not because they were they were like mm -hmm. we're not lovers anymore, we're just friends, you know what I mean? That was kind yeah. of the reason. So I don't relate to her in that way, but I just love to get to know the Queen story so I can um, love them even more. So, right. and I, I love that she felt uh, safe enough with the girls to share all of that, same as uh, John sharing her story and feeling comfortable to share with the girls. I'm just happy right. for them to have that safe space. Agreed. Yeah, my my parents are still married, and I only have one sibling, and. I'm close with her, so I'm like, I can't relate to this story, but I I, I don't want to say I like hearing it because, like, it's sad that, that that's an issue for her, but um, I like seeing the humanity, I guess, is is all, all I'm trying to say. And you know what? I'm not the only one who likes seeing the humanity, and we'll get into it at the end of this episode. But, yeah, now, cue that music, unless you had anything else. Yeah. I don't know. Did it start over for anybody? I don't know. Because you, know, you paused it, so it resumed where it left off. And well, I then, I want to hear the whole thing. <laughs> there we go. I know Logan's going to be like, why are we playing it so many times? <laughs> I just felt like it. It's okay. Um, it's not judgy, but, uh, woo -woo -woo. And I will say, Mama Pow is slaying it this season. Because this look is great to me. And I know y'all probably go have something about the nude illusions, but I like it for yes. her. Because <laughs> I know y'all was going to say something about the nude illusions, but what I will say about this nude illusion, it does fit her skin. So it's not as bad as look. It looks more sheer than nude, nude illusion to me. And, yeah. it's, and it looks more um, intentional than some nude illusions look. I don't know. And it doesn't look wrinkled in places. Like It looks like it's skin. So I appreciate this one. I like this look from her. I think she looks great. I love the yellow. Yes. Yellow's a good color on her. I love everything except the nude the illusion. Because other than mm -hmm. that, I think the dress is great. Mm -hmm. Like yes. if that was like a like a, a blue like kind of uh, like translucent fabric then I think mm -hmm. I would be into it. But oh, okay. the fact that she's trying to like make it match her skin tone, I don't like that. Like have the same type of fabric, but in a different color, it would work. Mm. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Uh, uh, her name, I don't want to say her name wrong. Karen Khaled? Khaled, Khaled Karen? Khaled Karen. Mm -hmm. I like her look. Mm -hmm. My favorite. She's, She's eating it, right? Mm. She's eating it. Mm. Taking it. Mm. Like, I'm mm -hmm. so fed by this look. The hat, the dress, it, her makeup. She's uh, eating. She's like, she's leaving crumbs, and I'm eating the crumbs. I'm, I'm leaking the crumbs, the crumbs out, of, out of the runway behind. Like, literally behind That's her, it. picking it up with my finger. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. It's, ugh. Mm -hmm. You die. I think she ate this whole panel up just by herself. Mm -hmm. Are like, you kidding me? When yeah. BJ Pasquale there is like with his glory hole look in his chest. Come on. I mean, it's cute, but <laughs> it ain't. It ain't. I it mean, ain't everyone cute. looks great. Everyone looks really. I like everyone's outfit, but no. um, Karen it's, and it's, Mama Pao kind of ate. So. Kinda, oh, I'm, I'm gagging over there. And the guest mm -hmm. judge um, uh, was uh, had her name. I said it. it Angeline, right? Angeline Quinto. I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry, girl. This is why we usually have Logan here. Logan always does that for me. And this is why I'm the mm. horrible host when it comes no. to No, Please put <laughs> in the comments and tell Lana what a wonderful host she is. Such a horrible host when it comes to yeah. Drag Race. That's why I don't do it often. But um, yeah, the, I think the judges are great. Jiggly looks great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's there. She but we move, we move because we're going to go into 
of girl groups. And uh, these are the looks. These are what they wore. Now, here's my thing. One of these things is not like the other. Uh huh. I was like, <laughs> one of these mm-hmm. things is not like the other. What the? Mm. I was like, did we not have a, 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 a? I guess one of us didn't. Don't do lime green. One of us don't. One of us don't do neon green. One. Of yeah. Us. Somebody. Somebody didn't get the memo. Didn't get the memo. Didn't get the, memo didn't get the, the same. The didn't get the same brief. Yeah. I was like, what is that? And okay. And a hat too. And a hat too. But, but hey, besides the hat, I do love this look. It just doesn't go with everyone else. But I do think it's great. So I was like, but. and see, here's the thing. <laughs> For me, if you're going to be the one that stands out in the look, because your look is so different from everybody else, you got to be top notch fire. Because your look is going to always be the attention grabber from anything else that's happening because it's so different. And if you're going to be different, and I know this is not her fault. She already said that this was not her forte. For sex ed, dancing and performing is not her thing. She's a model. That's what she does. She's that it girl. She's the fashion girl dancing and performing is not her thing. And she knew she was going to have a struggle with this, but man, you can't be struggling and have the other different outfit from everybody else. Because it's like, Take a step. now all I see is that every mm-hmm. mess you do, I see everything because it's like, it can't blend in with nothing. You don't blend in with the crowd. It's just, Oh, I feel bad for her. Oh, I feel bad for Here's her. Here's the thing. Every time, like she did stand out, for many reasons, but every time that I looked at her, I thought, ooh, she's messing this up, but oh, she looks so good. <laughs> you know? So, hey. Yeah. Um, can we quickly go through um, all of their performances? Go whatever you want to go through, yeah. David. Okay, so I, I wrote down a ranking after I saw this, so uh, I will be referencing how I ranked all 11 people, um, but... Uh, the first one was Kiana. Um, I thought she did really good. Like right out of the gate, she came with so much energy. She, like when you saw all six of them, my eye kept going to her. She was probably the visual standout to me in the group performance uh, from the first group. And her verses were so good too. Like I thought she she nailed it. And I'm like, I'm waiting to see where she's going to stumble because Kiana three weeks in a row has not missed. Um, so I'm just really enjoying her. I did overall rank her number two. Okay. Any other thoughts on Kiana? I also individually, huh? Okay. Okay. I, I also, um, well, I kind of arranged the first group and then the second one, I kind of have different feelings. So we'll get Mm. into that, but uh, Kiana was also my second favorite uh, from her group, and she was uh, she was actually my second favorite overall. Like her and Maxi were kind of tied for first for me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I do I, I do want to say that uh, for uh, for overall groups, I I did prefer the first group than than the second. Me too. Overall, yeah, mm, yeah. I think I like the first group. It, it's 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 difficult to say I like the first group. Well, I like the first group more than the second group when Versex was in the first group. Right. And then I like the second group, but then there was, you know, other people in that group. And I'm like, huh, well, I don't know. It's just it's hard. But yeah, Kiana, I liked her. She was my second favorite in that group. Um, I thought she did well. Um I thought she kind of ate it up a little bit. So I wasn't really mad at her. Mm-hmm. Um, the next person. <clears throat> oh, sorry. I just want to say the, the one thing, though, I think just about the first group is um, that they could have adapted the, the choreography to kind of fit everyone's level and be like, find yep. a good balance. That was my only problem, but it was still really good. Mm-hmm. But 
they they could have thought about the, everyone in the group uh, the same. So, right. Um, the next person we had <clears throat> was Angel. Um, I thought this was a good week for Angel. Like, there's a world <laughs> where since they had a top four this week, there's a world where they could have slipped her in there. Honestly, um, I yeah, I thought she came out. Um, like she she had all of that um what is it called like the boa around her so that really added to her performance and kept drawing my eye to her and i thought her verse was really strong um yeah i i i really liked angel she was actually my third favorite of this group my fifth favorite overall i also really enjoyed angel she was one of my favorites uh for me, I have kind of like two overall, I have two favorites that are kind of like tied for first. And then I have two other people that are kind of like tied for, well, third and fourth. So mm -hmm. like, but but it could be any of the those four in the top four in any order and I would be fine with it. Um, but Angel was one of my top four overall. Um. I don't, I wasn't, I'm not as, I guess I'm not as high as on you all, as Angel for, that you all are. I think she was good. I think she was okay. Um, I didn't particularly care for her verse as much. I felt like her verse was a little shallow, a little, 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 it lacked a little mm -hmm. something for me. Like, I, I, I remember it slightly, but not like I remember some of the other verses. Um, it was fine. I think she looked good. I will give her that. She looked good, but I was just, and I think she did okay. I just wasn't wild by her, her, uh, her lyrics, but I think she did fine overall. Mm -hmm. Like overall, she'd probably be my sixth favorite. Okay. Well, this, this is funny that you bring that up because I probably should have prefaced, pre prefaced, uh, this whole conversation with this thing about me. Um, lyrics are so secondary for me when it comes to music. Like, I'm more about melody. Um, like when I'm listening to like pop songs, I just want to, I want to be hit with a good chorus, a good hook. And do I always pay attention to the lyrics? Do I always know what the song is about? No, I don't. And I have a friend who writes songs and he's always playing me his music and he has to make sure to give me the lyrics as I listen to his songs so that I'm paying attention because he knows I will not pay attention to the lyrics without, um, without seeing them. We're being told, please focus on the lyrics. And in this challenge, I didn't focus on the lyrics very much. And it's going to reflect in my rankings. <laughs> um, the next person up, we have Zimba Ding. Uh, another person who just put on a good show. I do think she faded compared to what we've seen from her in in uh, the previous weeks. Um, but I think that's just because she was in a group stacked with standouts. Um, she did do like cartwheels. There's like, we saw her like doing her tricks. Uh, but for me, she was probably my fourth in that group. Um, and overall I had her at number six. Yeah. But I kind of thought, I don't know. I was kind of underwhelmed. Not, not under, I was whelmed. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I I just I I from what I was expecting of her, I I just thought she was gonna bring more. Uh, but I still think she did very well. It's just that she was in a group with a lot of other people that I think did better. But still, uh, for me overall, she would be. Uh, I think she would be yeah five or six. Around there, mm -hmm. so like high safe kind of yeah. would be for me. Yeah, I I think I think somebody was good, and uh, her I I am someone who pays attention to the lyrics. Her lyrics, her lyrics was nice. Her lyrics were really good, um, and I think that's what it was for me that edged her just above Angel is her lyrics, and Angel's lyrics just didn't do it for me. But I think they both did really they did well, and I think she did well enough. Did she fade a little? Sure. I think especially once the group, especially when the other group came out and it was like, uh, yeah. And after what we saw from the past weeks, I expected her to do a little bit more. 
And even she knew it. Even she realized that she didn't do as hot as she should have done. But yeah, I, I think overall she was probably my third and then fifth overall. Um, next up we have Maxi. <clears throat> Is this the first time you all have heard Maxi sing? Me sing, no. yes. This is the first time I've ever heard her sing. Okay. Uh I was so excited for this because I knew Maxi was gonna come slay this challenge. And sure enough, she did. I will say, like the part where she like she, her verse was was great. I loved it. The part where she starts singing really high, mm -hmm. like I got chills. I rewatched the whole performance later on, still got chills at that part. And I think I think what people may not even notice is like there are a bunch of like really high ad libs throughout mm -hmm. the second half of their that's all maxi it's all maxi and it's all maxi and i wish they were showing her singing those ad libs they kept cutting to like other people and you would hear them but i'm like that's maxi's voice let the people know because i i bet a lot of people took for granted that that was still her singing and she killed it she killed it and not only that but she performed the heck out of this too so yeah she was clearly my number one for this group and overall yeah, I agree, 100%. Um, I mean, I knew she was going to be good with the lyrics and singing and all of that. I just didn't know what to expect uh, with the performance. But she clearly has no problem in that department. Uh, and to me, she was also my favorite overall. I was blown away by her voice. And I don't get blown away by a lot of drag queens' voices because I feel like they don't a lot of them don't they just can't sing sing like sang sing but some of them can some of them can't and the ones who can you just like whoo and i think i said that during global i for uh, uh vanity vanity so yeah it's it's not a lot but she and really like maxi was is a singer she mm -hmm. is a singer and i loved it and and yeah, I noticed it when all the ad libs afterwards. I was like, all that is Maxi. Because once we heard it from her in her verse and it continued, I was like, that's still Maxi, which is smart for them to use that and utilize that voice on their track. Because my God, that could be, she could sing the whole song and ad lib throughout the whole song. And it's been an amazing song. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know what music she got out there, but if she got something out there, I would love to hear it because her voice is phenomenal so it was a clear clear winner like there was no way unless she walked out on that runway in a trash bag there was no way she was losing this this it was clear hands above the rest like nobody was close right. nobody was close to maxi in this one for me i was like mm. She ate this up. She ate this. And other people were good. Like, when we get mm -hmm. to the second group, it was some good people. But hands above the rest, Maxi ate this up. Up, up, up. Mm -hmm. but, and that's yeah. why she was my favorite on Queen of the Universe. <laughs> oh, I misspoke earlier because I said that I had two people tied for first. That's that's oh, a lie. I don't know why I said that. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what happened. No, I had a, you're, tired, Maxi, you're tired. Yeah, it was Maxi for sure, and then Kiana was second. But uh, and because yeah. I had two people tied for third, is what yeah. I wanted to. Yeah, it, it, yeah. it was a lapse in judgment. It's okay, River. We can all have it. <laughs> but Maxi for sure, no yeah, question. Yeah. But yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, next up, we have pop, pop star bench. Um, I. I, she was somebody who I did pay attention to her lyrics um, and it was all about like the trans flag. And I was like, okay, mm -hmm. I really like these lyrics. I thought she shined when she had her verse. Yeah. Um, for me, she did not shine throughout the rest of the performance at all. Um, mm -hmm. In fact, the times I did notice her, I was like, whose mom is out on the stage? And I Stop. think that Stop. I think it had to do with her styling. I just really did not like how she was styled. And usually that like does not play much of a factor for me, but she just kind of she looks so much older than she is. Like she's not an old queen. 
Um, but she, she just lost any youthfulness. I, but I really want to give her credit for having a very good verse in selling it when she, she was performing. But for me, she was my fifth favorite in this group and she was my eighth favorite overall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think she did fine. Honestly, like that's, yeah. it was not, I think she sounded great. Mm -hmm. She sounded great on the track. That's one thing. Uh, and I think her lyrics were good. Uh, but other than that, it was just a solid, fine performance. She didn't stand out in a good or bad way. When it was like the group, when it came to her uh, individual part, she did well. But other than that, she didn't stand out in a good or bad way. And I think that's kind of a good thing. Like it was just, she was solidly safe in, like in the middle for me, like in the mm -hmm. middle of the safe zone. So. Yeah, I think it was fine. She did good. She looked good. Well, she looked all right. I won't say that. Her verse was good. Her verse was good. It was solid, safe, middle of the road performance. That's it. Mm -hmm. You're muted, David. Yeah, I realize that. Um, last from this group, please let me know if I have any connection issues. Uh, I might be having those right now, but, uh, we had verse X. Um, there are times in drag race where I feel like they should pull out the random card of, we don't need to do a lip sync. <laughs> we don't need to do a lip sync because everything was so clear. Yep. And I and I really like Versex. Uh, um, I'm probably the the biggest fan of Versex on this podcast, but this was tragically bad. Like there was zero energy, and there's a way to have like low energy and sell it. I think somebody in the second group kind of did that, maybe not super well either. But um, yeah, I just really didn't like anything that was going on with her. Like I, I just couldn't believe how lazy it felt. Like surely she must have she must have known how she looked right this was so bad this was so bad and once again whatever she had in the lyrics i wasn't super focused on but the complete delivery throughout the performance just was so like one note blah blase come on for sex you can do better right I would hope so. But this was, yeah, this was my number 11 by a clear mile. Yeah, it was, we all watched the same thing. It was very clear. There's no way around it. But I got to be honest, I don't know. We don't know exactly what went on behind the scenes. But I feel like, and this is just, again, a feeling. I feel like maybe she didn't speak up during when they were doing choreography. She didn't want to speak up and be like, oh, and, and admit that she was the lead, like the worst dancer, or that she was behind or she was having difficulty picking up the court. I don't think she wanted, I don't know, because if, if that happened, we weren't shown that. So that's what I'm saying. But that's what I, it felt like. Like she didn't, she didn't want to speak up. So it kind of, they didn't try to work around her abilities. So it kind of was what it was. And there's, there was absolutely no way to hide it with any edit ever. I just, I don't know. When it's bad, it's bad. It's really nothing you could say. It was just, she just looked, confused on the stage the entire time there was not one time that they showed her that she didn't look confused and i agree with you david it would be lovely if they just pull out the we don't need to lip sync for this kind of car but as that's so messed up and cruel <laughs> it's like that would be so, i would go lock myself in a closet and just cry myself out. Just, just, just stay in there for the rest of my life. If I put on a performance that bad, and they're like, 
as we usually see, everybody does a lip sync for their life. But girl, you don't have a life. You're done. Here's your card. No. You can't lip sync for your life. Sashay away. Like they should have told her to sashay away before the runway. Like you can't even get a shot at the runway. Just mm -mm. that was no. Like <sighs> picture this as they're going like through them and giving critiques, and then they get to verse sex. First sex. Sashay away. away. <laughs> Don't anyway. even give critiques. No critiques, just sash. Like I would lock myself in a room and stay there till I died. Like literally, I'm there <laughs> until I can no longer exist in this world anymore. That's horrible. But sometimes, sometimes you like y'all know. We knew this before we even got to this point. We knew this before we even got to this lip sync, what was going to happen or what should happen. If it didn't happen, I would have been floored. I would have been like, who was worse than that? What was worse than that? <laughs> uh, verse, and verse six, we love you here on this podcast. We thought you were amazing. You are amazing. You're an amazing queen. This just was not her night. And this was just not the 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 challenge for her. Yeah, overall, 11th overall, last in the group, last overall. Let's move on to group two, David. <laughs> yeah, group two. So uh, we start off with Mix Chanel. Uh, this might be my hot take <laughs> of the episode, but I really liked her in this challenge. Uh, I thought she was giving me such pop star energy the whole time. She was so committed to the performance. She like it almost, you know, those like, you know, those like dance moms that are like just so like into what their people are doing. I felt like she was like a dance mom who got on the stage. Not that she looked like a mom, like Miss Popstar Bench. Uh, but no, she she just had that energy like and you could tell that she wanted to be the leader like in her brain. She was the leader. Forget you, Jake, when you were never the leader. It was always mm -hmm. me. Um, but. And I think that's what I like about her. She takes this seriously. She took it seriously in episode one. Um, and they critiqued her for it. And then here in this episode, I, th I think she was so focused on doing everything perfectly. And it worked for me, but it clearly didn't work for the judges. And they got hung up on the verse, which I guess I wasn't paying close enough attention to. But for me, she was my favorite of this group. And she was my third overall. Wow. Mm -hmm. See, it doesn't matter that you weren't paying attention to her verse because you didn't miss anything. She didn't she say didn't anything. Sing anything. She didn't, she didn't say anything. Words. She had the. She said mouth she, mouth. No, she did. She did mouth words out of her mouth, like she did say words, but she didn't say anything. You know what I mean? So that's the part that, like, I agree. Uh, but here's the thing: for this group overall. I think everyone did fine, and John did better than everyone. Like, John yeah. was the smart, she was the Nicole, the Beyonce, all of that, and period. And yeah. everyone else did good. Everyone. Nobody flopped, nobody stood out in a good or bad way other than John. For me. Yeah, I agree. I agree. John was the Beyonce, John was the Nicole, John was was everything and everybody else was the backup dancers and they did good because you don't take backup dancers on tour if they can't dance but they did good enough to go on the tour but they just weren't good enough to be beyonce like they wasn't overshadowing beyonce mm -hmm. the, on the renaissance tour they was just back there back in the hyping her up that's what this group did john was the beyonce everybody else is the backup dancers and i feel like um uh, Mix did okay, but if she would have kept her sword out of her mouth, half the time we would have actually saw her lip sync anything. Like she ain't lip sync nothing, and it was like this is a lip sync girl. You supposed to lip sync? I thought that was Jay Quinn that did that. Oh no, that was Jay Quinn. I'm okay. sorry. Yeah, but Mix still didn't say nothing. It was it was just uh, I don't know. I wasn't. I think Mix was I. She was a reverse was very chat GTP. Right? Mm. Yeah. Kind I of. feel like Mix was the head uh, backup dancer. Like, she was the head backup dancer. She was right there behind Beyonce the whole time. And you realize, you know her name. 
She the one you know their name on the tour. Like, oh, yeah, that's old girl from the tour, from the Beyonce tour. She, You know her name, but she's still the backup dancer. That was Bix. He was the head the one. She was the captain of the tour. Okay. <clears throat> well, since you all already talked about her, let's just go on to John. Oh, yeah, John. No, John. Yep. Okay. Um, so, yeah, John was my second favorite. For me, it was close between uh, Mix and John. They were my three and four overall. Uh, but I did have John at number four and I was so impressed with her. Like, and being number four is not a bad thing because I loved my top three and I loved John as well. Like, I'm glad they did a top four this week because there were four people who should have been in the top four, not the ones <laughs> for me. It was not the ones I did have. I would have switched one person out. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I just was so blown away by the energy that, that John, had. there was a lot of like this going on. Like a lot of like, she has like a signature move already just from watching this performance. And her verse was another one that I couldn't help but notice. And she talked right. about being the queen of OMG. Um, yeah, I just, I like, yeah, I feel like a proud dad just <laughs> watching John, who I knew, I always knew John had something in her. And I wasn't sure when it was going to pop out. Um, we knew that she had fashion, but like just knowing that she can perform like this, I'm just so happy and I'm really rooting for her success. I think this could be a huge momentum shift for her. So love John. Yeah, she was the standout of the group for sure. She looked great. I loved her outfit. Like my two favorite outfits were her and Kiana. I love and for sex, but not for the theme, but her and Kiana looked so good. Um, and yeah, she just, she ate. Period. I just want the record to show that last week when we were talking about who do we think could make it to the far, and I said, we need to look out for John. Mm -hmm. I said, John is somebody who we need to look out for because they could be the dark horse in this group that because they were like do we see who our top four could possibly be and i was like i can see john in that and this week it didn't even take long for me to know why i said what i said john ate this up i could not take my eyes off of john this entire performance when she her verse was amazing she looked amazing and like i said her little signature move and when she put that hair wrap up i was just like she looked so cute and so good i enjoyed this performance from her i think that was my she was honestly absolutely my favorite in this group absolutely my like tied for second overall for me mm. yeah and i think it's worth uh mentioning i'm pretty sure logan would have had john as the winner of the challenge uh, because Logan did mention in our chat uh, that John was robbed. It was of robbed, yeah. Again. So, yeah. yeah, I wanted to I make think, sure Logan's voice was heard on that. Yeah, I do think Logan probably would have had John as the winner of this challenge. But, I, I, I mean, I would have to go back and look at the looks, too, on the runway and compare the runway for John and... and, 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 uh, and oh, uh, I have a clear winner between those two. <laughs> I mean, I think I do, too, but we move. Yep. Um, let's move on to another person we've already briefly mentioned, and that's Jay Quinn. Um, I feel like Jay Quinn was a little mixed in this. Like she had good moments, mm -hmm. um, but there were a lot of times where she faded too. And mm -hmm. then uh I thought that she missed some some lyrics, so I'm glad that the judges pointed that out because sometimes I'm like, Am I crazy or did she just not lip sync that part? Uh so I'm I'm glad they called it out. And I get it. Yeah, she was doing other things. So she probably didn't even count that as missing lyrics. It's just I had this other thing planned at that moment. But yeah, overall, uh, J. Quinn, and I don't even think J. Quinn did bad per se. Like there was only one for me, I had three tiers. Like I had a top a top seven and people who were all really good. Then I had mm -hmm. kind of the next three that were decent. And then I had one like really bad one. So uh, Jay Quinn was in the decent pile for me. I had Jay Quinn at number nine overall. Yeah, I had her at number 10. But I kind of agree with you with like, I don't know about the numbers or any of that, but like one person 
did bad, then some people did decent, and a lot of people did really well. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Unfortunately, she was one of the people that did fine, but it was very noticeable when she missed the words. So, that's unfortunate. Absolutely. It was fine. That's it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, then let's move on to our Tita baby. Um, Tita baby. Yes. Who I also have in my uh, tier of seven that I thought did really well. Um, but I will say Tita is somebody who did not, st- on first viewing, did not stand out to me during the group number. And when there's five people, I'm kind of judging you a little bit more if you can't stand out. Like, I get it if there's six people, but five people, you should be able to stand out. But she did. She very much stood out during her verse. I thought she had absolutely one of the strongest verses of that second group. Um, she really performed it. She really like sold it. And she gave like a different energy, but not in a clashing way. But just it was kind of refreshing when she came out and did her verse. And then when I did my rewatch, there were times when I noticed her like in the background. Like it would show like a close up of somebody and she would be right behind them like, making faces and I'm like, okay, so you were doing stuff there. So maybe it was more the edit to blame for me not noticing her throughout, but overall I did have her number seven. Yeah, I think she did it great. Um, I think she brought, I think my favorite part was her lyrics and the way that she delivered. Cause she, she's not like, not that she's not a dancer cause she can dance. She's not bad at it, but she's not like, I don't think she is like a dancer dancer. Um, it's not like her thing, her main thing, but I did like her delivery of the performance and what she did with, uh, with her individual spot on the song. Uh, I do, I don't think that she stood out in any way, but I think she was a good, um, she had enough identity to kind of make me remember her part, but she didn't like stand out. I think she was fine. She did. She 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 was good in the group. She wasn't the worst in the group, but she had her moments to shine, and she took those moments. And then she took she took a step back. I guess when she felt she needed to step back, even though we still wanted her to be up. I think Tita is like Tita's like. I feel like she's like me. Like I could perform. I'll give you a performance, and when it's my time, I'm going to perform, and I'm going to give you my all. But after a while, it's like, okay, baby, I'm tired. So I'm old, I'm tired, so I got to step back and let y'all young kids go out there and do it. She gave us auntie vibes. Like, she gave us what she is. She gave us the auntie vibe out there. She danced, she gave her moment, and then she took it back. It was like, all right, y'all have at it. And I liked that for her. She didn't try to do everything that they were doing. She wasn't kicking as high and trying to split and do all this stuff. She was like, no, that's not who I am. I'm going to still be me. And I can appreciate that about her. I enjoyed that about her. I thought she did just she did fine, well enough. Okay. And last, last we have Yudi Pota. Um, so Yudi Pota, I kind of alluded to her earlier uh, when I was talking about Versax being low energy because I did get that from Yudi Pota as well, like a little bit low energy. And I'm glad that she uh, she made that part of her brand in episode one. So I was expecting it and I was expecting her to lean into it. And I'm not sure how much she was leaning into it or if it just happened naturally. But for me, she did seem to be falling behind a little bit and... She kind of stand, stood out to me during the group performance for just being a little slow with everything she was going into. Um, and I know that like she's probably limited with her dance capabilities, um, but I don't know. I, I think I wanted a little bit more humor with that if she's going to do that. Uh, but I thought her verse was really good. So uh, was she was probably my 10th overall, but... Um, like a clear, clear mile above Versex. So like, I don't think she did bad. It just, I think kind of everybody else except Versex did better than her. So that's it. Yeah. She would have been, um, the bottom person of my safes. Mm -hmm. So, um, she looked so good. I love her outfit, the hair, all, uh, love, but yeah, in she did it was noticeable not 
all the time for me. But it was noticeable at points that she was a little bit, either a little, like maybe one count behind, a little bit behind. Or if, if, if it wasn't that, you kind of tell that she was like thinking about the next step. But um, not enough that it kind of like threw me off that much. Uh, I think she did fine, you know. Absolutely. I think she did. She did more than for sex, but not enough to be at the top. So she did just mm-hmm. fine. Yeah. Yeah. But overall, mm-hmm. I thought they were two good performances. Overall, I thought they were good performances. I will go back and watch them again. I will listen to the song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I did like the song, but I did think one thing that I forgot to mention, because I said the first group was my favorite. One thing about the second group overall is that I felt that it was a little bit messy at times, the choreography and like where they were, it kind of seemed like some of them didn't know where they were supposed to be or what it was like. It felt a little messy for mm-hmm. me. And I, and I will say, as far as the song goes, I really like it. I don't think it's the immediate earworm that pop off a day or books was. Uh, books so, was everything. Oh, my yeah. God. It will probably grow on me, but I, 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 it's got tough competition. It's got tough competition because and, and I have heard pop off a day out that you should check out the, uh, you should join our Patreon. I'm just saying. Um, but uh, for me, I like Pop Off a Day, but Boosh is is still in my head from last season, and I oh I can't get it out of my head. And I listen to Pop Off a Day after I listen to Boosh, mm-hmm. and Boosh is still in my head. I I, <laughs> I still love that, but I love yeah they this song is good. I think if I listen to it enough, it'll grow on me, but. Boosh and Pop Off they didn't have to grow on me. It was instant. So there's a thing. But we need to move. We we are hour in here already. We gotta we're gonna quickly talk about the looks. And this is just quickly giving our brief thoughts about these looks as, because if you want to hear our full thoughts, you need to go to look over here and hear our full thoughts and scores about all of these looks. But we're gonna give you a brief look. Our brief thoughts about this. The category is her yeah, which is fair or carnival or of some sort. So lovely background, Logan. You did great. Yes. Beautiful. But let's go. First is Kiana. Hey. Gag. Gag me. <laughs> um Drag Race Philippines Hall of Fame look. Wow. I will say, wow. That's what I got to say. Wow. (laughs) Let's move to Angel. Her best so far. For sure. Bingo at the fair? Um, hey, maybe they do bingo at their fair. We don't know. But hey, my 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 thoughts up bingo. Period. Mm-hmm. Period. Oh, oh my goodness gracious! Oh my goodness gracious! Stupid good. Get <laughs> out of my face. <laughs> Mm. Wig. Ugh. WTF? Like what? Why? Why? First of all, why are these first three just laying like this? Oh my god! Oh, I didn't say her name. <laughs> <laughs> say her name. Say her name. Say her name. Oh, uh, but that's. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. And I can't even think of her name. So somebody should say it for Zimba me. Ding, yes. Oh, that's Zimba Ding. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. For some reason, it escaped <laughs> me and I could not think of her name. All right. We move. Pop star Pop bench. Pop star bench. Now, I know this one. Okay. I, I got that one. Mm-hmm. I just... Pop star bench. And bench is halfway in the thing, but it's okay. Bench. <laughs> I love this. This. Ferris wheel thing, the the thing, the prop. 
the garment is fine. Bedazzled wheel. <laughs> Why in the face? Why in the face? That's all I got. Such a beautiful face. Why? Mm -hmm. Miss Versex. High fashion clown and I don't care what the judges said. I guess I just don't get it. <laughs> Not at the fair. Not at the fair. I'm so mad I won't be here for a look over here to the, to get into it. No, but I wish that, were, that would have been interesting. <laughs> well, Maxi. Love the colors. The details, I wanted the finishing details to be more important, but it's beautiful. Yeah, I want more cohesion between the different rainbows. Mm. Stunning look. What has that has to do with the fair? It's just colors, not the fair. Mm -hmm. Mix. Mix Chanel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. I didn't want to say her name. <laughs> I knew who she oh. was. I just didn't want to say it. <laughs> but go ahead. Um... Um, it just, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. Uh... Okay, what I will say, I, I, I'm i not sure about the dress. I don't like the styling. That I'm sure about. She probably made Manila Luzon in the face. Mm. Yeah. This is a whole lot of something and a whole lot of nothing all at the same time. Thank you. This is, this is a That's whole exactly lot of stuff, feel. but a whole lot of nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm just, uh, okay, we move. John! Yeah. Everything. Everywhere. All at once. So much going on. Love it. That's it. Miss Tita, baby. I love Tita. I love this idea. This look is fine. Uh, they're just glued on. <laughs> I was gonna say, it looks like a design challenge. You just glued on some toys on your on your auntie your your Sunday dress. You literally you just glued, glued it on your auntie <laughs> on your auntie's dress, your Sunday auntie dress. That oh, Tita, I love you. But what did y'all do to Aunt Tita while she was sleeping? <laughs> just glued it on her. Tita was asleep and the babies went rampant and put just all these toys on it and glued it on her. And she woke up and was like, dang, now I gotta go. I'm gonna wear this out. Mm. <sighs> Bro? Bro? Oh, just no, it's, it's Yudi. Yeah, Yudi I was just, a bad, just a bad picture. I was like, huh? Okay, well, Yudi. <laughs> yeah. Yudi put the Okay, I like this idea, but no. I'm assuming she had to make this because not all of her looks came in. The black tights? No. The yellow shoes? With all this blue and pink? Like, mm. 
these ha- look mm-hmm. as somebody as somebody mentioned before mm-hmm. last season on these very Philippines um um show that we did with these little half hearted blown up balloons like why why we we ain't take the time to blow the balloons up fully? We got these little saggy, sad, small baby balloon like mm. and then you ain't put enough of them on there like no I can't I can't, and then we have Miss Jake Quinn love this love. <laughs> What's being hidden here? <laughs> it's something we needed to hide for monetary reasons. Okay. Thank okay. you very much. I don't remember. Uh, very, very Jay Quinn. <laughs> I love this. I think it's so cute. It gives me the game. And it gives, yes, it gives the game. And it gives me the, uh, I love how she. Court, uh, put the bears around like they have them on the shelves on the game. That's so good. But yes, it's it's for monetary reasons because think of the target practice when you have to have a target. Mm-hmm. Yay! And it's just Jake Wynn. But yeah, I, I, I love the big teddy bear. It just looks like it belongs there. <laughs> it does. <laughs> but yes, that is all the looks you get all of our thoughts on look over here so go check that out when it comes out but we do have a uh top four this week and our top four is john kiana maxi and popstar i agree with three of them Three of them, mm-hmm. yeah. Three. Of One them. of them, not so much. Okay, so who would be your four, your number four, Lana? If I had, if you had to, be, so we would, I mean, we three, would all agree that would pop stars just would a, be out. Yes. Yeah, pop, right? I would only just have a top mm-hmm. three. If I'm gonna be okay. honest, it would just be John, Kiana, and Max. But if it was, is, but if you had to, if it was uh, a four, who would it be? Gun, you can and you me, will. Putting something to my head that makes me say. Uh, uh, for four, I guess I would have given it to probably Mick. If I'm not, Ooh. if I'm being honest, same. Probably Mick. I was expecting Zimba, but um, no, because I feel like she faded too much. She mm-hmm. faded too much. But you liked her verse, right? I did like her verse, mm-hmm. but I feel like she faded too much in in the performance. Yeah, it was mixed for me. Yeah, I think it'll probably be mixed for me. Yeah, for, see, for me, it was Angel. Okay. Oh, no. She was close for me. She was, she was fine. But, I mean, hey. But, but we do have a winner, and our winner was <laughs> absolutely Maxie. No doubt about it. Where's that clip? Oh, uh, well. You know which it. clip? I do, but I will have to go find it. But let me. I got you. It. I got you. How about this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Ah. Ah. I, I shouldn't have given you button control. <laughs> <laughs> I knew others was gonna happen behind that. But um, but yeah, she deserved. She ate it up. It was like I said, hands above the rest. Nobody was coming close to what she did in her performance. And and even though her runway is confusing to me, it still was good. But mm-hmm. it was good. But we did have a bottom three. And our bottom three was Jay Quinn, Mick Chanel, and Versex, which we just obviously said Mick Chanel should be in there, but okay. Uh, but she was safe. And our bottom two was Mick Chanel for sex. I think they wanted to give Mix a storyline. They wanted to knock her down a few pegs because she had been in the top twice mm-hmm. in a row. Mm-hmm. There's no world where she should have been in the bottom two, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I thought absolutely it was going to be Jay Quinn when I saw the bottom three, but mm-hmm. I, I, I don't get it. I, I feel the pro- producer hands in this decision. I don't know about you all. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, so here's my thing. 
their challenge was writing, recording lyrics, mm -hmm. and then performing the song. So Versex was in the bottom because she was bad at performing the song. And Mix, mm -hmm. to me, was bad at writing the lyrics, which was the other half of the challenge. So if one person did bad in one half and the other person did bad in the other half, I think it's fair that they are both in the bottom. To me, for me, personally. So. Well, well they did do a lip but. sync the, from the guest judge, uh, her song, uh, uh, this Miss one. Manila. Miss Manila, yes. Which I was like, when I heard the song, and I, just, I said, oh, is this like Miss Independent? Like, it's, it gave me, you know, the whole Miss Independent kind of woman, like Miss Manila is Miss Independent. So I'm like, oh, okay, work. But I it's about that girl song. and being Why? that girl. So, being that girl, yeah. Miss Independent, Miss Manila, I am it, I am her, she is me, period. Um, I like the song. I listened to the song mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, okay. I kind of, I, I can feel the, the, the energy from the song, the power from the song. And she was like, we conquer, we, you know, we survive. We, I was just like, okay, this is definitely a girl power. We're strong. I'm strong. I'm going to do what, you know, do what I got to do to make it in this world kind of song. And I was vibing with it. I was vibing with it. But I don't know if I was vibing with the two of them as they performed the song. I felt like, I don't know. Well, I guess for sex, her, her dress hindered her to me. It was so big. And she, I was, I was waiting for it to come off. I was like, that bottom half is coming off. Right. And it never came off. And I was like, Oh, that is just, it, 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 it very much kept her, in a, in a tight box like she couldn't do a whole lot but it was movable but it wasn't a whole lot and then I felt Mix was a little manic like in her performance I felt her performance was a little all over the place and she's ripping stuff off and she's getting naked and she's taking stuff off but it was so like frantic that it made me frantic watching her I was just like oh oh okay relax but I thought it was okay, but it was just a little frantic for me. I don't know if y'all felt the same way or not. Hmm. Yeah, I, I yeah. agree. It um, You'll get this reference, River. <laughs> you won't, Lana. But it almost felt like Mix was possessed by Milan from a Drag Race Season 4. Because Milan always did this. Like, everything was coming off during the lip syncs, uh, especially wigs, which uh, Mix's wig didn't come off. But it was kind of distracting. It was this lip sync. For, and for me, I will actually say, like, Versex, was she amazing? No, but she impressed me. She did better than I expected. So this lip sync was too close for comfort for me. Because Mix disappointed me. Versex exceeded my expectations. So they were kind of meeting close in the middle. Um, but for me, I don't think there's a world where Mix leaves here like knowing she just had a win she's been pretty consistent up to this point and she didn't do bad in the challenge so it would have taken a disaster performance for mix for me to send her home there's no yeah no way that she's going this early no nope. yeah and also with her winning the last challenge and for sex being the bottom for last challenge, not lip syncing but she was in the bottom three so like yeah for sex would have had to ate her up in the lip sync for her to be eliminated and that didn't happen so i agree uh to me it was kind of close as well because it was two different approaches mm -hmm. um i did feel versex energy kind of go up and down there were moments where i kind of felt like she was kind of not not there a, mm -hmm. like a few small moments but it kind of was very noticeable to me uh but other, other than that i think she did great and I agree with Mix being a little frantic, a little messy, very Milan, very that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it was close enough, but not to the point where Mix could have been eliminated. So, yeah. I felt like Mix, not yeah, uh, yeah, fit Mix. I felt like even her stunts were a little crunchy in, in yeah. between. Like when she did that flip and 
I was like, oh, they're mm-hmm. weird. It all yeah, weird. It looked painful. It looked painful. And, where, it looked... and like where she did it in the song as well. Like yeah. The timing. Of it, the it, thing. Was just, it, was, it just looked crunchy. And so I was like, okay. But her sex is eliminated. And uh, finally, somebody has gone home from this franchise. It only took three episodes for it to happen. And I bet you're not um, mad at who it is. <laughs> no, I'm not mad at who it is because I feel like it was deserved. Um, and I, even though we're going to miss out on some really good fashions, I believe, from her, but mm-hmm. I can't wait to see her Instagram. I hope she posts so we can see mm-hmm. what she was going to wear. But um, I, I hated that. I, I, as much as I, I, I talk about wanting to see people go home, I don't like seeing people go home on you know, all the time. And yeah. and I do think that she was the right choice, though, this week. If they would have said nobody's going home again this week, I would have been like, now look here. <laughs> Y'all just playing with folks uh, right now because that's mm-hmm. ridiculous. But can, can we, we talk about... Oh, well, ahead. I want to quickly talk about her final words um, as she was leaving because I, mm-hmm. I was like, okay, I'm really impressed with you as a person because she talked about how like her expectations of where she wanted to go with drag uh, going into this competition. And she said she's leaving the competition just wanting to be more human. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, who knew you were going to be so insightful? Like, isn't that something we should all strive to be is more human. So I I really think that she has listened to the people like that she had conflict with and she wants mm-hmm. to grow as a person and that's taking more priority uh over growing as a drag artist. Mm-hmm. So I really like that. Like move the goalpost for where you are as a person, let the drag persona catch up and I really could see great things in her future. She she feels so rough around the edges, like even her makeup. Like I feel like she's probably, to be honest, I feel like she's probably used to other people doing her makeup. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think she has a lot of room to grow in that area, but I'm glad her priorities are where they should be. I mean, I think that once she uh, becomes a better person, her drag will improve on its own because it will be, it will, like you said, it will match up to the person she is instead of who she, because right now we're seeing who she was trying to be. And I don't even think that was the real her. I think that was the character that she felt that she needed to play. But the fact that she thought about it and was like, I want to become a better person. It lets me know that that wasn't who she was all the, the whole time. And she has something better inside of her. And I can't wait to see what happens to her in the future. We'll see. I think we'll see for sex again. And on somebody's runway, I'm sure. New York Fashion Week, Milan Fashion Week. We'll see her for sure. But is there a draft update? There sure is. So uh, things did shuffle around a little bit uh, this week. Um, We do have River now in uh, last place and sixth place with 14 and a half points, uh, especially losing, losing Versex. Yeah. Just what because I just wanted to say because we, you were talking about her leaving, I wanted to say that I, I agree with you. I also was going to bring up that moment. I because with everything that happened on the first episode, especially, I really was turned off by her, but like I also understand because here's the thing I used to be like that, mm-hmm. so it was very triggering to kind of be like, okay, I know I used to be like that, and then I decided to change and not be like that anymore, so I'm happy for her that she maybe maybe being so triggered and like acting that way because she was triggered kind of opened her eyes to be like okay there's i gotta work on some stuff and so i'm not reacting like that all the time um so i'm excited for her i'm rooting for her as a person it did warm me up to her a little bit more i'm still not like a fan but i'm rooting for her as a person and i'm sure like you said her becoming a better person will come with better drag as well absolutely so. mm-hmm. and we didn't talk about untucked because nothing happened so i just wanted to mention that if anyone would ask like we just nothing happened y'all yeah. so and we also didn't talk we sorry we didn't talk about uh john opening up on oh the main stage um take we, away that draft <laughs> So. Because he was just, it was new to the judges, but it wasn't new for us. As right, I was say that. I guess like, that's probably why. Yeah. Because we did mention it earlier a little bit about it and talk, mm-hmm. you know, but, but she did open up to the judges 
on her track on on what happened to her when she was 13 years old and the judges mm-hmm. were blown away that this could happen mm-hmm. And the fact that it happened when she was 13 and the fact that the people who didn't believe her and was like, you wanted it kind of just set Mm -hmm. off like, whoa. And it was horrible. And that should not happen to anybody. But to happen at 13 years old is like that is stripping away all of the innocence in somebody's life at 13 years old. And it's so tragic. And I hate it for her. But like I said, I think her being able to get that story out there and getting that off of her chest lifted a weight that was on her and it made her feel so much lighter. And we saw a different John in this episode and I love to see it. And I only hope that it continues to help her grow and continue to help her just heal. She needs to heal all of the hurt and that trauma that is in her life. And I think talking about it gave her permission to start healing. And I love that for her. And now she has a family of people. And a lot of people who watch this are going to be like, I hope y'all swarm her with love and and just love. Just love, love, love all over her because she deserves it. Because she come, she came out of it on the other side and is stronger than ever. And I love that for her. Mm-hmm. I love that for her. And just to second what Jiggly said, because I'm not the biggest fan of Jiggly, but when I felt that when she said to those people that told her that she wanted it and that it was her fault, absolutely go to yeah. effing hell. Period. Absolutely. Period. Absolutely. Because that happening is. I could not even imagine it's bad enough that that happened to her and when it happened and how it happened, but to have people that you thought were your friends and that you trust and they were supposed to be there for you, tell you that you wanted it and that it was your fault. Like, absolutely not. Absolutely. So like, we love you, John. Thank you for sharing your story with us. And I, I just hope that it makes it better and easier to do with every day. Yeah. yeah, I'm glad you brought up what what Jiggly said because uh, I w- I was happy that she she was very clear about that as well. And I will mm-hmm. uh, say like um, I was telling somebody not too long ago about a time when I was like very very newly out of the closet, and I was naive and um, I was driving somewhere and I needed a place to sleep, and so I on grinder i found somebody that would let me sleep at their place and i set a very clear boundary but they i woke up to them taking advantage of me while i was sleeping and i was telling somebody this story and i'm like i don't have trauma over this like it's annoying i don't have trauma over it and that person was trying to give the benefit of the doubt and explain maybe why that was something that they thought was okay and it really, it was the first person I've told this story to a few people. It was the first so time somebody tried to give somebody who was yeah. I set a clear boundary. Like there's, yeah. there's no benefit of the doubt to be given. So I, I really didn't appreciate that from this person. I don't think they meant it in a malicious way, but that's small compared to what happened to John. Uh, so yeah, I, I completely respected Jiggly for calling that out and calling it out hard. And also, I do want to say we we read the comments uh, after last week's episode, and so many people mentioned uh, the movie that Mama Pow's in, uh, Die Beautiful, and it got brought up in this episode. Uh-huh. Um, and John said she was only able to watch it once because it was just so relatable. And I honestly, I really do want to watch this movie now. So maybe I don't I'll, know if I can. If if that's what it's, I I don't know yeah. if I can because I I I can't. That's fair. It it sounds like it's not for everybody, but yeah, I'm I'm very curious and and I haven't seen anything that uh, Powell's been in, so uh, sounds like this might be a good one for me to check out at least. Uh, I, yeah, I will say yeah. Jiggly made her point very clear, and I love that. And I will also say. David, that it doesn't matter their intent. It was what they did. Malicious or not malicious, 
it was wrong, period. And the yeah, if you run someone death, over by accident and they die, it doesn't matter that it was by accident. They, they still die. You still kill someone. So it doesn't, it doesn't it, matter. It, it doesn't matter. I mean, the fact that you set the boundary and they crossed it, wrong, period, period. So, and I mean, because that's in all cases, because a lot, nobody consents to anything like that when that happens to them. So it's, it is gross. But just know, John, that we here at the cup, we support you fully and we have your back on all things. And if anybody want to show some disrespect, send them my way. Let, send, send them to me. Let, me. let me talk to them. Let me holler at them. I will give them a piece of all of my mind, period. Back to the draft update. <laughs> so to reiterate, River, you're still in last place. Actually, you bumped <laughs> down to last place. Right. Um, and then in fifth place is Logan with 17 points. Then I am in fourth place with 18 and a half points. Lana, you're in third place with 19 and a half points. We have Brandon in second place with 20. And then a commanding lead for Eve with 24 and a half points. That last week kind of ate us up. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> last week kind of ate us all up mm -hmm. <laughs> with Eve. But oh, that is the draft. That is the episode. That's all we got because we still got to go talk about some looks. But um, David and I will be back to talk about looks. River got to go. So we're going to let River go and live their best life period uh and we're gonna yeah, go to sleep <laughs> absolutely that is the best life you can have right now my love absolutely period. absolutely so you go live your best life and we will be back we, me and david's gonna go talk about some looks but we'll be back here next week talking about episode four and um y'all know what to do hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell all the things not me not putting the banner up the entire time, but, um, you know, there it is. And uh, everything is alleged information. <laughs> everything is there. And, you know, go check out our socials at the cup pod on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. You can follow David and myself river. Maybe one day we'll get a, a social media that we can put up there. I'm thinking know. about it. Well, we'll figure it out. Maybe she will, maybe she won't. If she don't, she don't want you to follow her. That's fine. <laughs> but if she does, then you follow her. Period. Um, get, follow, uh, subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to all of our other channels. Go down to the description so you can get our audio podcast channels as well. And you can join our Patreon. And if you keep scrolling, you can get your merch. And we are going to go as soon as I... I'm stalling because I got to get down to the right part. <laughs> and, yep, we got to get down to the right part. This is why Logan does this and not me. So we're out of here. Cheers. 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 Bye. 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 Bye.